everybody, here is Anna, also known as Anna Nita, everywhere in the internet and you can find everything about me on my website uh, annanita.com. You find my social media links and handles and my shop and patterns and yarns and everything there. I'm in the midst of uh, producing Vlogmas, so maybe you have already seen some videos popping up in your uh, subscription feed on YouTube. If not, maybe you want to check out what I show and share on Vlogmas. I'm doing Vlogmas for I don't know how many years. I, I think I started 2017 maybe or 16. Not all of my old Vlogmas are online. Um, yeah, <laughs> for several reasons. But I think the last two or three years are still online. So maybe um, you want to check them out too. This year I'm doing daily videos again and it is so much fun and thank you a lot to everyone who reached out to me and commented. Uh, it's lovely. It's it's the the reason why I do it. I want to be in contact with the whole community. I want to chat with you. I want to get to know you. It's lovely. Okay, today I have to show you three finished objects, several works in progress. I have some ideas for you um, what you could knit during Advent. So is it only knitting? Yes. Because many of you have um, minis advent calendars, bought ones, swapped ones, so yarn minis advent calendars. And I was asked um, on Etsy what you could do, for example, with the one you bought from me, the Opal minis advent calendar. They have 10 gram. And then I thought, okay, I'm, I'm curious as well. What could you, what could we do with all our minis? I have advent calendars as well. Many of these minis will go into my blankets, but here and there I would like to knit something else, like as a palette cleanser, a fast finished object. And I will present three free, I think they are all free, yeah? I think three free <laughs> patterns for you. I want to share the new prompt for Aina's Knit Club for December. Um, there are my show notes, that's why I'm looking there. And I have another showcase blanket for you today. I'm showing you my Christmas blanket and I'm telling you all about it, what you need to know to make one yourself. It's a crochet blanket. So I would say, let's start. The first finished object is a new free pattern for you. It's available in the Blocked magazine. The Blocked magazine is a free knitting magazine and that is available um, at or on Yumpu. I will link it in the description box below. I designed this sock pattern for six ply sock yarn. It is, I don't know how you can call this, it's rough, a little, um, it has ruffles, is that the right way to say it? It's a brioche sock. And I know when knitters hear the word brioche, they are in awe and, th and think, oh my gosh, now that is too complicated. I can't do that. I promise you. Brioche in one color knit in the round is so easy. I wouldn't knit it if it wasn't easy <laughs> because you know me by, by now, I think, and you know I enjoy easy knits. It's a very, very uh, cute and very um, squishy pattern and so soft because the brioche makes it feel double as thick and that is why I don't do it on the foot so you can still wear these socks in your shoes. With six ply sock yarn it's not a problem to fit into your shoes at all and I like sometimes I like to only knit the pattern on the leg. So I hope you could see this very well now. This is an opal sock yarn that is I'm pretty sure so uh, sold out everywhere or pretty much everywhere. It was the Rainforest collection, but you can knit it with every six ply sock yarn. I think I have one or two balls of opal six ply sock yarn still in my shop and in the background you see hand dyed six ply sock yarn from me that is available in my shop. Every skein has 150 gram because um, sport weight sock yarn usually comes in bigger units so you have enough 
even if you want to knit bigger men um, socks, men sized socks. So 150 gram, but only 25 euro before tax. So they are not only cheaper than other sport weight sock yarns, they are also cheaper than my usual hand knit, um, uh, hand dyed yarns because I know inflation hits us all and that is why I, I'm lowering my prices at the shop right now because yeah, we are all in this together. So only 25 euro. I think it might be around 25 or 26 dollar. Depends on the e exchange course or how it's called. Okay, here's one sock and here is the other sock. It's already, <laughs> I, I don't have so many sock blockers. I need more sock blockers. Yeah, when you wear it on your leg, I mean, you can, you can scrunch it like this and it's so cozy and cute. It reminds me of um, leg warmers, ballerinas always wear. Yeah. You could also only knit the part of the leg and then cast off stretchy and you have um, wrist warmers or leg warmers that can do this as well. Okay, a last time I will show you. Oh, it's so soft. And after this video, they will go directly to my mother-in-law because she has um, a sock emergency situation. <laughs> She's wearing her socks so much that she desperately needs a new pair. And I'm glad to provide her with new hand knit socks. That is the first finished object and it's a free pattern for you available in the blog magazine. And after a month, I will also put it on my web website. But in between, you can have a look at if you maybe enjoy a free knitting magazine. I like them so much. Okay, the next finished object is a Christmas gift. I can say so much. <laughs> it was the last Christmas gift I had to knit. Um, while I put them on the sock blockers, I tell you, I tell you what you need to know. It's my own pattern, the Helgen socks. I think many of you have knit the Helgen socks already. And everyone who reached out to me about the Helgen socks told me that the pattern is so addictive and so easy and so much fun. And I agree. <laughs> that is why I published it. Um, it's one of my favorite sock patterns because it's so addictive and it's so much fun and it's effective. Okay. This pair is out of Opel Shock Yarn. It's the holiday collection. The colorway was something with coast, coastline, coast houses or something. I'm sorry, I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, I don't have them in my shop anymore. They are sold out. Uh, you like the, the holiday collection so much. It's um, sold out very quickly. And because this colorway is so... Mm, calm, let's say it calm. I didn't use contrasting colors for heels and toes or even the cuff because I think it's not too busy. It's very pretty. Here you see how it stripes in stockinette. I think it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And it also looks great with the Helgen pattern. That reminds me of dragon scales and that's why I called the pattern or named the pattern Helgen, Helgen socks. For those of you who play or played or have heard of Skyrim, you know why. For those of you who don't know what Helgen is, I explain it in the in the pattern. <laughs> yeah. What can I say about it? Oh, wait. Ah, these socks. <laughs> these socks I knit with three millimeter needles and these with two and a half millimeter needles and it has 16 uh, so 64 stitches this sock sometimes I knit 64 stitches for myself as well but usually 60 stitches with opal yarn is enough for me okay finished finished pair and how I will wrap my presents, my Christmas presents, I hand knit. 
I will show you in Vlogmas. The next finished object is out of one uh, is out of Opal subscription yarn. So I can't tell you the name of the colorway because it's not in a collection yet and it will not be until March because I know already what comes out um, what, what Opal comes out with um, up to March and it's not in a collection not not similar colorways as, uh, as well so I don't know if it will ever be in a collection and here they are um, I call them my Halloween socks my second pair of Halloween socks for this year because I think this colorway has Halloween vibes I don't know maybe it would have it would have had more Halloween vibes if I used orange as the contrasting color but I thought there is more pink in the color repeat so it matches better if I use hot pink I did some rows in the beginning like the crazy sock lady always does I, I thought that is a neat idea um, because this is another pink than this and then I used it for the heel and for the toe and the pattern is um, half mm, half brioche half brioche I think <laughs> as well and very easy and very effective and very much fun it's a German free pattern and I have decided I will add it in the notes on my Ravelry project page so you know how to knit the socks because the designer didn't answer my question if I could translate it in English for her so it's only a one row repeat so there is no reason I think it's a free pattern and it's only one row the setup row and then the row you do for the entire sock so I think that shouldn't be a problem I will put it in the show notes uh, not the show notes the project oh yeah the show notes as well for those of you who don't have rivalry the show notes and the project page yeah so pretty I knew I wouldn't finish my Halloween socks uh, for Halloween because I started them a few days before Halloween and then we were traveling visiting friends and so I wasn't making a lot of progress but that's not a problem and I decided to finish them during Advent why Advent because Advent is for me I hope I managed is it this year that Advent is the fun knitting time for me now because last year was last year the Weasley sweater or was it the day before uh, the year before last year I don't know but usually I'm very busy making Christmas presents but this time I was done with Christmas presents already before December 1st so I decided to have fun with this so enjoyable pattern and finish these socks and put them away for Halloween these were my finished objects now we come to to what do we come now the German word of the day <laughs> before I forget this time the German word of the day is Vorfreude 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 is anticipation or pleasant anticipation when you look forward to something that will happen and in Germany we say Vorfreude is die schönste Freude so I would translate it to um, pleasant anticipation is the biggest joy but that, that doesn't sound so nice because you don't use the same words we say Vorfreude for the joy before something happens and you look forward to it and Freude is when it is right here so Freude is joy Imp Pre Vorfreude would be pre-joy <laughs> So pre-joy is the biggest joy. Um, Vorfreude is die schönste Freude. Vorfreude is a very, um, a very good word for Advent because we are looking forward to Christmas and the Christmas season and the presents, the good dinner, seeing friends and family during the holidays. And I agree with our saying in Germany that the joy before it happens is bigger than the joy during or afterwards because it's longer you are joyful about a date 
a concert, a pattern that comes out or a present you are looking forward to receive or to give, the time is so much longer than the time receiving or attending it or whatever you are looking forward to. And yeah, you could say, but the time afterwards is even longer than the time before. Yes, but we usually aren't so joyful in, in afterwards. So the time before is is the most precious. I think that is why people love the time before Christmas so much, the Advent season. Some people <laughs> seem to celebrate Christmas already during Advent, but I have no problem with that. I think there couldn't be some there there couldn't be too much Christmas joy. So if you put up your Christmas tree already now and you I don't know do Christmas celebrations with family or so go for it because it's fun, it's it's joyful and I don't think there is something bad about it. But for me Vorfreude, so the pre joy, pleasant anticipation is the biggest joy and that is why I um hold on to something is that the right way to say it no i don't think so for example i don't uh, i put away some things for special occasions it could be candy it could be a movie i would like to watch for example my favorite christmas movie is charles dickens christmas carol out of the year 1984 with George C. Scott in the main role as Scrooge and I don't watch it right right now although the urge is here I really would like to watch it it's so lovely and I I have so many emotions when I watch it and it's such a fantastic story and such a great movie but I will wait until I would say December 23rd or 24th but 24th is difficult because that's our main celebration day and then I usually don't have time to watch TV. So maybe the little Christmas Eve 23rd of December. I will wait because that is the day when my tree is set up and everything is prepared for Christmas and that is the most special time for me. The, the, the night before Christmas Eve, it's so magical, I don't know. It's and that is the day when I watch it. And in my family, we always watched it on the 24th of December. So the day in Germany. Vorfreude, that was the German word of the day. Now we come to works in progress. Okay, first of all, I will show you... Wait, <laughs> where do I start? With a new design. I'm working on a new sock pattern. Black is the main color. No worries, it will get colorful in just a moment. And then we will have contrast colors. And the contrast colors are Opal Minis, the neon Opal Minis collection. And this will be a paid for pattern. I don't know when I will release it. Maybe I can I can publish it in December, but I think it will be January, but I will keep you updated on that. And that is the pattern. <laughs> I love these colors so much. I hope it... Yeah, now you can see it. It's very much fun. No worries. It's no color work. You only... In one row, you always only knit with one color. Because eh, color work is not, not my jam. It's very pretty but it's yeah not so much fun to knit in my opinion so it's only always one color per row uh, round and it's a very easy pattern i don't have a name yet maybe you come up with a fun name first when i saw these i thought of macaroons <laughs> black filled macaroons but maybe you have another uh, suggestion for a pattern name so that is like text marker strokes. Um, <laughs> uh, that is the next pattern I will release for you. And that is what I'm working on right now. And it lives in my pretty little Robin cottage bag. I love this. It's so pretty as all of her bags. Here's her tag.
and she has her shop on Etsy. It's always very sturdy, very high quality, very pretty fabrics. The inside fabric is here. Yeah, very pretty. That, my next work in progress is also in a little Robin Cottage bag. <laughs> uh, I'm not sponsored by her. It's, I just lo love her products. Um, it's my, my next color block for my Cozy Memories blanket. And this time I'm knitting all the light grays or colorways, for example, that have a lot of white. Or like this. So, uh, this is this is so pretty. It looks like a snowball. <laughs> yeah. And here are uh, here is my progress. I have the needles poked into it so I don't lose my stitch marker. Yeah, I make these. These are the only stitch markers I can use. Um, you see in my uh, most recent, I don't know, most recent, so in one of my vlogmases <laughs> for December 5th, yeah, you see how I make these. It's very easy, but it's, I can't use these dangling pretty stitch markers because I knit them into my fabric, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, here are the squares I have knit. I have no idea what these yarns are. I think I have received them all in a swap, but I love them. This is my favorite so far because it looks like Hedwig. The owl, the, the owl of Harry Potter. This is very pretty. And this one as well. I think this could be opal yarn. Yeah, this is opal yarn, I know, because I bought some leftovers over eBay. Yeah, I bought a, a box filled with opal leftovers for my blanket. <laughs> that is something you could do as well if you don't know what you um, ha what to do with all your leftovers and you can't knit everything. Sell them and there will be someone crazy like me <laughs> who buys them. Oh, I, I thought it's not a work in progress, but I thought I'm safe now to show you the first clues of the this year's Advent Mystery Knit Along. This year we knit a cowl. The pattern is available on Ravelry, Etsy and on my website. And today, when I record this, today is December 5th. And I when I wrote this pattern, I had in my head, so it has 12 clues. And I thought, okay, most of you will start on December 1st. And I give you two days time to knit one clue. Because I think many of you would like to finish it by Christmas. If you haven't started yet, if you decided you want to start later, if you don't want to be spoiled, please look away. For the rest of you, I will show you one, two, three, the first three, the first three clues, okay? Clue one is the ribbing, okay? Then we have the dividing rows. I always add them in between. This is clue two. Red is always difficult to show in a, uh, for the camera. And clue three is this okay just if you were curious you can still knit this pattern you can wait until the pattern is completely not released because the pattern is released completely uh, but you can still w wait until you see what others knit and how it looks you can always knit this you could also because it's not it's only Christmassy because the colors I used in this pattern and I uh, mm, I sold kits for this pattern as well. But if you, for example, use your normal minis you receive in your advent calendars, they shouldn't be too busy. I would suggest they shouldn't be too busy 
Unicolors and semi-solids are the best. Light speckles are also um, fine, but it's a textured cowl and you won't see many of the textured patterns if you use Busy Yarn. So that is the only thing I would give you as an advice. But other than that, you can use all your scraps and leftovers as long as you have always the same color for the dividing rows. And the dividing rows are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 40 rows in total, I think. 40 or 42 or so in total. So even for that, you can use a leftover. <laughs> Um, and then you can do whatever you want. You can knit it uh, with your with your advent minis or your leftovers. I think now that I say that, I will do this. But after Christmas, I think, because I have received lovely semi solids already in my advent calendar. I swapped with three lovely ladies, Tabitha, Christina, and Yolanda, and that would be nice. And that way, I could encourage you to knit it. Besides. Uh, the Christmas season uh, but this is so much fun this cow was so much fun to design and to knit lovely <laughs> sorry it's my pattern but it's so much fun it was I love to knit many different stitch patterns you can look again I'm sorry you can look again I don't show the cowl anymore um, I love to knit different stitch patterns because I get I say I get bored easily I have no problem with knitting stockinette for a long time but usually I always have a side project I switch here and there so I can do something else and I like to knit pattern socks for example uh, because it's much fun and you don't do the same thing over and over again and that is why I like to design these kind of patterns last year I designed a sock I can show you again I knit, I re -knit it in the this year's um, colors of the Advent Mystery Knit Along, but that is the pattern from last year. You see, you have always another stitch pattern. Yeah, and that is that is how I designed the cowl as well, but with other stitch patterns. Yeah, and because I finished my Halloween socks, I think the next pair I will start is the second for this. So this could be my this year's Christmas sock out of Opal yarn, my favorite yarn, and a pattern I wrote, I wrote myself. That is ultra special for me. And this is so pretty. I love these traditional Christmas colors so much. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that leads us to advent projects, suggestions for you. Well, you don't, you could knit them during during the year, but many people are hunting for patterns they can knit with their minis, for example, with their minis or with their leftovers they received during advent. And I have three recommendations. One is my own pattern, the Welcome Baby Socks because I used uh, the baby socks uh, pattern for my, but I changed it. So I made a shorter foot, let's, let's say it easier. I made a shorter foot and quicker decreases. So I made Tommy an advent calendar out of 24 of these baby socks. And you can do this as well. And you can also knit normal sized socks, then you can put bigger treats inside or you can change it to your likings as I did. And the pattern, the Welcome Baby Socks pattern, is available for free on my website. The second pattern I could recommend is called Mini Sock Yarn Sweaters by Janet McMahon. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I will link it in the show notes and you see on the screen how they look. I wanted to make these tiny sweaters for ornaments forever, <laughs> but I just didn't do it maybe because of all the Christmas presents I had to knit in this season but maybe this year I really like them you can knit them in one color if you use for example self-striping yarn or the opal minis or you could only knit the yoke um, in the self-striping yarn and use a contrast yarn for the body there are so many possibilities and you can um, put them on a garland or on your Christmas tree there are many options. And the last pattern recommendation is an Egg Cozy by Regia Designs team. 
It's available on Ravelry. I will link it in the show notes. But you don't need a pattern for that, I would say. Just cast on, take take a baby sock or something with a small circumference or maybe measure a um, medium-sized egg. And then you know how many stitches you have to cast on. I, that is really nothing you need a pattern for. But in case you want to follow a pattern, it's available on Ravelry. And I don't know what if you use them, but I use egg cozies every weekend so I can keep the eggs warm. And uh, during so I, I boil the egg, I cook boil the eggs. Do you say cook eggs or boiling eggs? I know you boil water, but do you boil eggs? You cook eggs in boiling water. Whatever <laughs> you can let me know in the show notes uh, in the description. No. <laughs> You can let me know in the comment section down below. So I use them because sometimes breakfast isn't isn't ready um, or we can't start because, I don't know, I still prepare something. And in the meantime, the eggs have their cozies on. I have um, felted sheep cozies. Maybe you see them here and there on my Vlogmas and they keep the eggs warm. It's, it's, it's something, I don't know every household should have <laughs> and you can make them um then now we come to our current knit alongs so we still have our year-long knit along going the anna knitter blanket along on ravelry and on instagram you can share your blanket projects they don't have to be finished um to win a prize and on instagram you use the hashtag anna knitter blanket along and on Ravelry, you post it in the thread in our Ravelry group. And I will draw a winner from both sides on Ravelry and on Instagram um, by the end of December. I, no, I will say no. I will draw winners on December 31st, 12 o'clock German time. So. And the other um, knit along or make along is Anna's Knit Club. I started this in September and I think I will keep it going because you enjoy it so much and I enjoy it as well. It's a year-long make-along, knit-along. Let's say make-along. And every month I come up with a new prompt. And the new prompt for December is using your Christmas colors. So knitting, crocheting or weaving with your Christmas colors. You can use unicolors, so the traditional Christmas colors like these, or you can use um, semi-solids or speckles or self-striping, whatever Christmas yarn you have. So unicolors or all these pretty patterning colors you have uh, in your in your stash. Um, yeah, and you can make whatever you want as long as you use Christmas colors. And if your yarn tag says, for example, I don't know, Christmas night, and it's not in the traditional Christmas colors, I don't care. As long as the tag refers to something Christmassy, go for it. Oh, and for those of you who feel chatty, so if you want to enter a prize to win, you post your progress, you don't have to finish to win, um, with the hashtag Anna's Knit Club on Instagram and I will share if you have a public account I will share all your projects in my stories so to showcase them and share them with the community and if you feel chatty you can enter or you can you are welcome in our telegram group we are nearly 90 people in that group already I love that group it's so much fun and so inspiring to look through all your projects and uh, I enjoy the chat very much um, so if you want to enter this group to chat with us and if you want to ask questions or if you don't use Instagram but you want to be part of Anna's Knit Club, you are welcome. The link to the group is in the description box below. And Telegram is a messenger like WhatsApp but safer and has many more features and I like it much more than WhatsApp and it's very easy to use. Yeah. But if you don't have it installed on your phone and you click on the link, your phone will ask you if you want to download it. You can download it, no worries. It's not a scam or anything. It's a normal application you can get in the App Store or your Google Play Store. And now we come to our last part. Yeah, 
the showcase blanket. I think I will have to stand up for that. So you see it's <laughs> it's very long. I wait, I will check if it's two meters long. It's over two meters. <laughs> it's stretched out. Here you see the colors I used. Okay, now we come to all the details. Okay, let me check my notes. I used five different colors by Schachenmeier. You pronounce it Schachenmeier. <laughs> it's a German brand um, and it's Schachenmeier Bravo. The pattern is called Cozy Stripe Blanket by Attic24 and it's a free pattern. It's very easy. It's only triples and granny stripes or double crochets and granny stripes, English and American terms. I used a four and a half millimeter hook and yeah that's everything you need to know I think. Oh no, one thing I want to explain because um, I am very, I don't know, picky when it comes to these kind of things and I put a lot of thought into this blanket. I used five different colors because it is a pattern repeat of two rows. And if I only used four colors, it's even difficult in German to explain that. <laughs> okay, if I used an even number of colors, the granny stripes would always be in the same colors and the Trebles would always be in the same colors. Mm. So for example, if I only used these four colors, so dark green, dark red, red and white, the granny stripes would always be, I don't know, white and dark green or so, but never this light red or dark red. Did you did you understand what I mean? <laughs> so I had to use an uneven number because it's an even road repeat or a, or even row repeat. It's an it's a repeat of an even number repeat. So <laughs> and that is why I need an uneven number. So I have white not only in my granny stripes but also in the rows with the double crochets or triples. I hope that made sense. I, yeah. <laughs> I uh, realized this when I made the swatch. That I, when I only had four colors, I saw, okay, I would like to see how the white looks in triples, only triples, but that doesn't happen because I used an even number. I hope that made sense. So if you want to follow my pattern exactly, just use this color repeat. So I used light green, dark green, dark red, light red, white, and I repeat. And I have a project page for, for that, but you can also just, I will hold it now, you can make a screenshot. Did you take your screenshot? And then you have the color repeat and you can do nothing wrong. How many stitches did I cast on? I don't know, I never, too many. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge blanket. That is always something you have to find out for yourself. Uh, I definitely cast on more than the pattern set. I say definitely, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so uh, Maybe if I know how many stitches I did cast on, you have read it on the screen already, but I don't know it from the off the top of my head. And I usually don't count because I don't want to count 300 or 400 stitches. Because I always miscount and it, it's not, you don't have to be that crucial with crochet blankets. 
it doesn't have to be a multiple of three because you can skip a few stitches and wig, wig it. Is it wig it? Or you can you find a workaround and it will be fine. Okay, that was the last segment of the show. I don't have any questions for today. If you have questions you want to um, you want me to answer, write it in the comments down below and I'm very happy to answer them. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want to watch more, try out my Vlogmas. No! No. <laughs> I want to show you the six-ply yarns I have in my shop. Just quickly. Okay. I sold one of this already of, of these already Christmas green on sparkle cheese cracker nut on sparkle golden ornament on sparkle this is my absolute favorite it's called ice skating on sparkle Frosting, also on sparkle. Do you see the sparkle? Yeah. Chocolate chip, not on sparkle. Blackberry jam, not sparkly. And fig, not sparkle. Now, this was the last segment of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to keep watching, check out one of my older episodes or maybe try some Vlogmas episodes from this year or last year, if you like. Um, so for today, I say bye-bye, happy knitting, and we see each other in two weeks. 